Hi, this is Francis Sudeco with Tyrius Research. I'm here with uh, Jill Garcia from, from AMD to talk about uh, you know, their Sienna launch that they just uh, put out and how, uh, how that's being adopted uh, and, uh, and implemented by their different partners. So, Jill? Yep, thank you. So, I'm Gilles Garcia. I'm the, I'm the senior director for the Wired and the Wireless Group at AMD. So, uh, thank you, first of all, for the opportunity to, uh, to, to talk to you about it. So, what you have, by the way, we can probably turn into it because the epic announcement that we have is really putting the, the, the RAN environment to a different level. We had always stated the story between the 5G radio to the 5G core and the epic Siena that we announced is fitting very well within the DUCU aspect of it. Number of cores, power per cores, very important. And so what we have here is what we call our wall of love. <laughs> so, which is split between two areas. One, which is the radio side, and we have a set of different vendors, uh, mainly from the uh, North America market, because we are in North America, this Mobile World Congress. Then we have partners uh, for the EPIC uh, processors, so the first servers that we are seeing, and we have different partners from Lenovo, Supermicro, uh, Gigabyte, all using uh, and demonstrating the uh, Siena uh, processor into it. And so as you can see, different form factors, so those form factors, small ones, the smaller ones will be better targeted for the uh, DUCU, where the big ones will be probably more targeted for the edge data center aspect. And we have even some that are more targeted, like the SROC for the HPC uh, environment. So, as you can see, this is what we are demonstrating here is two, two things. First of all, the versatility of the EPIC that can fit into different applications, all on the edge, but from telco for the DUCU or edge data centers and the flexibility and versatility of the offering for the radio as well, which is not EPIC, but uh, more radio devices uh, from the AMD uh, uh, Xilinx acquisition, which is also showing the versatility of being able to scale from small cell to massive mimos. Great. So let's take a look at these, uh, some of these cells. Please. Yes, so we have, uh, we have small vendors, because we are always trying to give chance as well to uh, different startups or established vendors. Well, and especially with ORAN coming Exactly. Out. So for the indoor radios, for uh, Nipsis, we have Microamp, which is a European uh, uh, microwave solution. KMW, Gigatera, US-based uh, and Korean-based company. MTI, so MTI, which is a pure American-based company. We have also Fujitsu dual band radios. NEC, Massive MIMOs. Uh, Upside, again, a small startup in the US, but as you can see, the rendering is quite different from the other one. And so that's showing the different, and again, we are scaling from 32T, 32R, massive MIMOs, to indoor radios, 44R, going through dual band, all using the, uh, the AMD technology inside. Perfect, it was great to see so much adoption of the, the new Sienna Sienna for the server and yeah. the continuity on the open run for the radio. Yes, exactly, congratulations. Ah, thank you, thank you for your time.